everyone welcome back to my channel my name is minakshi and i am doing a video series on the landmark cases relating to article 368 of the indian constitution in today's video we are going to discuss the landmark case sajjan singh versus state of rajasthan it's a case of the year 1965 this is the second case that we are discussing in this series of cases relating to article 368 in the previous video, we discussed the case of Sankari Prasad versus Union of India. If you haven't watched that video yet, I would like to ask you to watch that video first and then you can come back and watch this video. Because these cases are related to one another, it would be easier for you to understand this case better. I will leave a link to that previous video in the description box below and also over here. So let's start with today's case. Now, this case of Sajjan Singh versus State of Rajasthan is decided by a five judges constitution bench. Why? Because it also involves interpretation of constitution of India. Now, in the previous video of Sankari Prasad versus Union of India, we read about first Constitution Amendment Act of 1951. What were the changes brought by this act? It inserted Articles 31 Clause A and 31 Clause B. Apart from these two articles, it also inserted nine schedule to the Constitution of India with 13 different acts or regulations that will be outside the purview of judicial review. Now, even though these changes were made by the first Constitution Amendment and it was held as constitutionally valid and binding, in Sankari Prasad Singh versus Union of India case, there still were some difficulties faced by state governments in passing land reform laws. Under Article 31 Clause 8, definition of the term estate was very much limited. It was a very narrow definition. So few of the areas could not be included under it. As a result, many of these land reform laws in many states were considered as void. So in order to tackle all these difficulties, there was another constitution amendment act that was brought by the government. Which amendment act is it? It is Constitution 17th Amendment Act of the year 1964. So what were the changes brought by the 17th Constitution Amendment Act? First of all, it amended Article 31 Clause A, which was inserted by the first Constitution Amendment Act. And by making this amendment, the definition of the term estate was widened so that a lot of other areas or a lot of other terms may also be included under it. Also, by the 17th Constitution Amendment Act, few other regulations or legislations were also inserted under nine schedule. So, all these new legislations will also be outside the purview of judicial review. So, apart from many other legislations, Rajasthan Tenancy Act 1955, Rajasthan Jamindari Abolition Act of 1959 were also inserted under the ninth schedule of Indian Constitution. So, in this present case of Sajjan Singh versus State of Rajasthan, Constitution 17th Amendment Act was challenged in the Apex Court. In this case, Supreme Court again had to take a decision whether under Article 368 of the Constitution, Parliament has this power to amend any part of the Constitution, including Part 3, Fundamental Rights Guaranteed to People. Now, as we are clear with the basic facts of this case, let's see what was held by Supreme Court of India in this case. Supreme Court held that under Article 368 of the Indian Constitution, Parliament has been given this right that it can amend any part of the Constitution, including fundamental rights. So, the power of judicial review under Article 13 of the Constitution is limited. It can be applied only to ordinary legislations, but it cannot be applied to constitutional amendments made under Article 368 of the Constitution. So again, in this case, the majority decision was in favor of Parliament. That Parliament has this power to make changes in any of the fundamental rights guaranteed to us under Part 3 of the Constitution. So basically, the constitutional validity of Constitution 17th Amendment Act was upheld by the Supreme Court. So the decisions of both Sankari Prasad Singh versus Union of India and Sajjan Singh versus State of Rajasthan are quite similar. That under Article 368, Parliament has been given unlimited powers to make changes in any article, any part or provision of the Constitution of India. 
in both these two cases constitutional validity of these amendment acts were upheld so article 13 is limited it cannot be applied in constitutional amendments but article 368 is unlimited it can be applied in any part or any provision of the constitution of india so i hope you are clear with the facts and decision of this case sajjan singh versus state of rajasthan so that was all for sajjan singh versus state of rajasthan in the next video we will discuss another interesting case and see how decisions of both these two cases were reversed by the supreme court of india so that's all for today's case if you are interested in watching more videos relating to constitution of india you can check out this playlist and to see more videos relating to indian contract act you can click on this playlist to check other videos relating to specific relief act negotiable instruments act and other different topics of law you can consider subscribing to the channel until we meet next time bye bye